So how do we change the world? Take responsibility, feel empowered, feel inspired. <clears throat> how I, I'm absolutely 100% convinced that the way that the ripple effect, the domino stones are already in place, okay? The whole plan is already in place. This planet can change within two years completely, even faster. But I'm talking, when I say two years, I don't mean energetically. It can change energetically within a couple of hours. But it can change instantly, logistically, infrastructure-wise, clean waters, all that stuff, within a time frame of two years. It's already in place. Systems are in place. Good to go. What are we waiting for? Inspiration. Inspiration. Inspiration is what will flick off that first domino stone and kickstart the process. As soon as that happens, you can set your clocks to a two-year counter. My promise to you, two years from that date, the world will completely have changed. As one of my main teachers, I might say, I don't really call anyone my teacher, but I would call this consciousness one of my teachers, one of my main influences, um, as a Ra says in one of his transmissions to a questioner about, is it possible to change the world overnight? Something along those lines. And I'm paraphrasing his answer here, but it was along the lines of, it is unlikely, but it is ever possible that humanity can unite itself in a single moment of inspiration. And there's nothing else we have to do. Follow your inspiration, you might be that person. It's one of us. Might as well be you. More accurately, it is all of us, but in very direct ways. It might very much look like you're the one starting that whole process, that snowballing effect. It can happen in so many ways. It can be either one of you, any one of you can be the ones to actually flip over that first stone that sets that whole process, which is already set in motion. We don't need to figure out ways to change the world, not really. Not that you shouldn't be inspired about that, that, not that you shouldn't look into that or work on that if that excites you, but it's already, it's already available. Everything we need to make this planet a happy, abundant planet for every single inhabitant is already in place. We've just got to connect the right people with the right people. That's what we're going to do. And how are we going to do that? Inspiration. We need to inspire the people because you see these events will not occur these connections, these important connections, these magical synchronistic connections will not be allowed to occur by the vibration of our collective if people have not reached a certain level of inspiration of being tapped into their non-physical selves. Whether they call it that or not, doesn't matter. So inspire, inspire wherever you go. Give wherever you go. Be that enigma wherever you go. It doesn't always have to look in a certain way. It can look like many things. But be that person. Be the brightest, first for yourself, and then naturally it will spill out onto everyone else. And the effects of that are immense. You cannot even, you can't see the effects. So people often, people are often creating so much benefit in a single moment or a single dialogue, and they judge themselves right after for saying something in a shitty way. And they don't see the light that they admitted. They don't see the blueprints that they've changed. All they see is what they physically see. And then they base their sense of worth off of what they physically see they've done. And they feel like failures. Such a shame. Such a shame. Because it was such a beautiful doorway into an even bigger light emanating from your heart. Into the underlying template reality of our collective. Changing things rapidly. Believe in yourself. Doesn't matter how you say certain things. Doesn't matter, mean how you, doesn't matter how you do certain things. Just come from a place of inspiration and whatever you say will be perfect. Whatever you do will have effects beyond your comprehension. I see it every time. I see it. You can start to see it too. And I'm only be starting to see the beginnings of that myself too. There's so many ripple effects that every single thought does. It's crazy. You can have a single thought of inspiration right now that quite literally could be responsible for changing the world. Are you waiting for a Nikola Tesla to be reborn somewhere? You might be it. He was just another dude. He was just another wanderer, like so many of you. Positively oriented. He was convinced that he could do things, so he could. He was convinced he could know things, so he did. He was convinced he could see things, so he did. It is whatever you say it is. Be confident. Do not be afraid of your ego. Own your shit. Own your power. Own your awesomeness. 
own the fact that you stand out from everyone else in at least one regard. Otherwise, she wouldn't exist, because then you'd be like everyone else. And creation does not create anything redundant or already done before. So at least in one profound way that can be of service to you and the entirety of this planet and all the beings on it and all the infrastructure on it and all the societies on it, at least in one way, you are profoundly more proficient than every single other being on this planet. And for some people, that's in two ways. For some people, that's in three ways. And for some people, that's in subtle ways. They're at the highest echelon, in the highest echelon of that field. You are a very skilled person. You are an extremely gifted being. Again, otherwise you would not have been created. Completion is complete because you are here. It would not be complete without you here. Does that make sense? Do you feel that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you know that? Do you? Are you lying? Do you know that? In this moment, Good, carry this with you into the next universe. So come together frequently with people that inspire you. Stay inspired. This is the only form of situational control that I teach. Make sure you're surrounded by an inspirational environment. Meaning, if you don't like your job, figure out something else. If you don't like the location that you're living in, the city that you're living in, get out of there. If you don't like the friends that you're having, say thank you, bye-bye. If you don't like the lack of perhaps some kind of spiritual teaching in your life physically present, seek it out or create it with a community. But come together so that you are frequently reminded and inspired. Don't like your state of being even though you live in the place you want to live and you have access to friends right around the corner that you like. Watch one of my videos or any other video that inspires you. That bumps your frequency up again to being in alignment. It's the greatest gift you can give to yourself is to just hit play on that video, especially when you're not feeling like doing that. Hit the play button. Be in your mood. It's fine. Just leave it on for 30 minutes. You'll be a changed man or woman after 30 minutes. It's because this is easy for you. And the easier this becomes, the more powerful you become, the more bipolar you become. And the more bipolar you become, the more you can go up and down in an instant. That's why what you need is education, reminders. This is the only form of situational control that I teach. Surround yourself with inspiration as often as you can, because you're fighting an uphill battle if you don't. You're fighting the uphill battle of the collective automatic consciousness momentum. While you are one of those that are trying to break out of that so that you from being outside of it, can shepherd people in.